I am so excited to be part of this wonderful group of YouTube creators in this repurposed DIY collab. Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoven's Nest. Thanks for joining me today. For this DIY, we are supposed to repurpose something that we already created, but maybe didn't like anymore. I don't like that wreath situation anymore and neither do I like this sign. These are old projects that I just needed to get redone. The first thing I did was take this board outside and give it a good sanding. Of course, I had taken off all the hearts and everything that was on it, but it did need a good sanding just to kind of get some of that print off and the layers a little bit. It's going to turn out a little bit of a shiplap look, but I am going to turn this and make it a vertical sign and rather than a horizontal sign. Out of the wreath sign, I'm using one of the wreaths and I'm gonna be using the wood welcome sign as well. I'm gonna be taking some burnt umber here and just painting the wreath so it's not so white. I want it to have more of a grapevine look to it. The original wreath design had these green hydrangea blossoms on it and I've got a few more so I decided I'm going to do an ombre effect. I'll start at the bottom with the dark leaves and then I'll move to the lighter leaves and then finally the white at the top. Whenever I'm doing wreaths, I never use the flowers as they are. I'm always taking the, them apart and creating my own little design. But I always try to leave at least a little bit of a stem on it, especially with a wreath like this. I can just poke that stem in and then just secure it a little bit better with a dab of hot glue. Now I'm starting on the lighter green flowers and what I like to do is work from side to side when I'm going up the side. So I'll put one blossom or two blossoms in on one side and then I'll go and do a couple of blossoms on the other side. Because I'm doing an ombre look, I wanna make sure that I have the proper amount of florals on each side so it looks symmetrical. So as I said in the beginning, I am joining a bunch of wonderful YouTube creators. There will be a playlist link in my description box. So when you're done with my video, please go and check out what everyone has done and tell them I sent you. I flipped the wreath around so you can see it a little bit better. So I've got the dark green on the bottom and then I'm gradually moving up to a softer green and now I'm working on the white. So the top portion of the wreath will get totally filled with white blossoms and it just turned out so pretty. I was really loving how it looked. I wasn't quite sure it was going to turn out when I first started, but as I started moving into the wreath and putting more of the blossoms on, I really started to enjoy what it was looking like. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to say welcome. If you like what you're seeing, I'd love for you to hit that red subscribe button and stick around for a while. If you are a current subscriber and viewer, I really appreciate your support. Thank you. Now that the wreath is complete, I'm going to do a little bit of fixing up of this wood welcome sign. I do like the color gray, so I'm going to keep it that way, but I'm going to distress it with a little bit of dark gray from Rust-Oleum, so the dark charcoal. And then I'm also going to take some of the linen white and give it a little bit of distressing that way too. Now comes the fun part. I get to assemble this. I'm going to be using the welcome sign and that's gonna go on the top. You can see that I have my sign laid out vertically instead of horizontally. 
I'm going to also then put the wreath in the center and I'm going to put a stencil down at the bottom which I will show you in a few minutes. I'm using a combination of weld bond glue which is my favorite permanent glue and hot glue just to keep it in place while the weld bond glue has a chance to dry. The reason I like the weld bond is it only needs about 15 minutes or so to set up and it's still going to be tacky but it holds things in place so it is my favorite glue to use. I'll put a link in my description box if you're interested in picking some up. I think you can purchase it at a few different places online and in stores. Now it's time for the stencil. I'm using my most favorite stencils that I picked up at Michael's probably over a year ago now. I'm not sure that I could find the link for you so I do apologize for that. But I am doing something that I have not done before. I am using a Dollar Tree makeup sponge to dab onto the stencil. And this is turning out really, really well. I love how it works. I love the texture of it and it goes on really nicely. And my apologies if the screen looks like it's shaking. I was really pounding for some reason and uh, my camera was jiggling around too. So anyhow, I'm gonna put my last name and then underneath that, I'm gonna change into a different font style and just put the letters EST, which is short for established. And then the year we got married, which is 1991. I'm really loving the texture of using the makeup sponges instead of a stencil brush. And I also really like how the wood is splitting the letter in half sometimes and you're getting that little bit of a gap in the color. Here's how it looks hanging on my wall. I'd like to thank all of the lovely ladies for joining in on this collab. It was a lot of fun and I'm really happy with how my project turned out. If you liked what I did, please like, comment and share. Hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on the cool things I'm doing on my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified when I upload new content. Thanks for watching. Music